Alright, what's up guys? So today I'm here doing a shoot with Nikki. We decided to switch it up today. Usually you've seen me shooting outdoors with, you know, really soft lighting, golden hour sort of stuff. But today we've actually got an indoor location. So we hired this studio and we've got some really nice big bright windows here. So we're gonna show you guys how we use natural light um, and direct sunlight as well to create some really um, interesting effects. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is actually switch off these lights here. Um, because they can cause some like flicker with the camera but also we don't want any mixed color with the lighting coming through the window so whenever you have like yellow lights in the ceiling you always want to turn them off if you don't want sort of like two different color casts going on in the room at the same time so we're going to find the light switch and switch these off we actually thought that there was going to be a little bit more light coming through but I think we've come a little bit too late for that. So I really wanted this light to be coming in like all the way into the room but as you can see kind of losing it as the sun rises this morning. So what we're going to do is get in really quick and we're going to use the direct sunlight um, as quickly as we can and then move on to some more like soft lighting as you can see like further back in the room if you pan around this way it's like a little bit more soft where the like sun's not hitting it directly. One of the problems with direct sunlight is that if it's coming in from an angle, it can cast really hard shadows, which means that um, it's going to show off like some of the blemishes in your subject's face. So what you want to do is kind of try to soften that. If you have to work with harsh sunlight, um, you can use something like a reflector or a sheer curtain. In this situation, we don't have any curtains, unfortunately, but we do have this reflector right here. So if I put this reflector up, against the window here like that. So you can see that reflector really softens that light. But we still have like some, because it's direct sunlight, we still have some good like dimension in the lighting. You can see like one side of the face is quite bright and the other is more in the shadows. With harsh sunlight, we can also use the shadows to create some interesting effects. So I actually found this lampshade at home and it's kind of got this like grid um, pattern. So we're going to use this to create some shadows. Yep, that's it. Uh, a little bit back. Yep. And then just tilt your head towards the window just a touch. Just come back a little bit. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. Good. Look towards my camera. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, lean your head in again. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Just start like, closing your eyes there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, really nice. I like that. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, nice. Just closing your eyes there. Chin up, chin up. Chin up. Chin up, yeah, good. Okay, so now that the sun has like come over in the sky a little bit more, um, there's less of the harsh light coming through the window and it's a little bit softer now. Um, so as you can see, the closer that we go, so Nikki, if you wanna come closer to the wall, the closer that we come, obviously the brighter the light's gonna be. Um, and then it's actually more contrasty the closer you are to the light source. So 
the light is gonna fall off a lot quicker in this area versus as we go further back into the room, the light's gonna fall off um, a little bit more gradually so there's a little bit less contrast. So we're gonna shoot right up against the window now and I'll show you guys what that looks like. In terms of like lighting and using natural light, there's kind of like two common terms that you'll hear. The first one is broad light and the other is short light. Broad lighting is when the light source or the majority of the light um, is hitting the side of the face or the side of your subject that's closest to the camera. So I'll show you an example of that. So Nikki, if you wanna just come back into the room a little bit. Yeah, that's it. All right, and so short light is basically just the opposite of that. Short light means that the light is hitting the side of the face that's furthest away from the camera. Um, or you could think about it more as shooting into the light rather than with the light. So I'll show you guys an example of that now. So you'll see that you can either achieve it by two ways. One, by moving to the other side of your subject and shooting into the light source. Or two, by simply rotating your subject. So I'm gonna use short light here. So Nikki, if you wanna just go back against this wall here. Yeah, that's really good. So you can see that the light now is hitting the side of her face that's furthest away from the camera. So basically they're just two different techniques that you can use when you're lighting a subject. There's no right or wrong way really to use light. Um, it's just all up to the kind of mood that you want to create and obviously I'll put those two photos up side by side so you can kind of see the comparison between um, the two lighting techniques. Yep, love that. That's sweet. Bring both feet like up onto the like um, stool like you were before, yeah, and just leaning forward a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. And just look out the window there. Let's go chin up a little bit. Yeah, good, good. Awesome. So I've just returned from the shoot and I've actually just finished up editing all the photos and I've got to say I'm really happy with how they turned out. I also want to give a massive shout out to Carlo for filming the BTS and Khan for assisting with the photos and holding the reflector. And a final thank you to the studio upstairs who allowed us to use their space for this shoot. I'm going to be linking everybody's details in the description box below as well as all the equipment that was used on this shoot. And if you're interested make sure you check out my Lightroom presets, I'm also going to link those in the description. Quick note, if you don't have a 5-in-1 reflector, I highly recommend picking one up. They're pretty cheap, I bring them everywhere with me whenever I'm shooting, um, they get me out of tricky lighting situations all the time. 
um, it's definitely a piece of kit that you want to have in your bag so if you don't have one make sure you go and pick one up i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you learned something or got something out of it i've got plenty more tutorials behind the scenes and tips coming up on the channel so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos thank you guys once again and i'll catch you in the next one